Why, hello, Royal Fish. Welcome back to another Blender episode. And last time I made a video on this stuff, uh, Boner. I'll stop there. Bone Nugget asked if we were going to use this in Fishton. And uh, I think we're going to, but I'm not sure exactly. We're going to see what happens. We're still talking it over, but I think it will possibly be coming to Fishton. So we'll see what happens. Don't get too excited, but hopefully. Because I do really like the shape. I'm guessing that uh, Bone Nugget also really liked it. Sorry, I got your name wrong, bro. Um, hopefully other people like it as well. I've seen quite a few people starting to watch the video. So anyways, we'll get on with some more of the detail. But just to sort that issue out, we will probably add it. Tell us what you think, Bone. Do you think we should add it or what, bro? Always interested in what he thinks. He's he's a good guy. He's always putting a lot into our game and telling us a lot of input and finding mistakes for us and errors. And he's a good guy. All right, so probably just do one of those, and we're gonna have to fix it after, and then we'll really pick the edges we want to do. We'll do six. Undo that. I'll start undoing the back half of the edges. Oh no, we're not on edges. Boy, I guess we'll just highlight the ones we want. Might be easier. I think that's it. Do our headlight like so. Hmm. I'm gonna do it a different way. Actually, let's just do the other edges for now. I don't want a flat face. Something like that. Big old truck headlights. Yeehaw! Check out my lights, baby. All right. And I think I took it off its axis. I'm just going to try to keep it on its axis. It's going to be a little easier to place. So let's go a little away from the grill, something like this. And then we can look at the thickness we're going to be able to pull off on this. Like something like that. We'll go thinner, so we're just coming through the face. And then we could um, go a little more into detail. But before we do that, let's shift D. And let's just drag one to the back. Maybe we can manipulate the shape we want from the tail light before we put more detail into it. Go ahead and do the headlight. So we're going to hit I, shrink it a little bit. Then we're going to hit E, and we're just going to bump it in a little bit. And it's just going to give us that little lip. Or we can make it look more like a headlight. And it doesn't look like we're going to have to do much to the shape. So let's just shift D it. And you can change your shape if you're not enjoying it. Change it the way you think is better. But I think that's a pretty decent truck headlight. Two headlights now. Should be good. Um, for what I'm going to do. I think this is going to be a disattachable part, possibly. So what I'm going to do is attach those to the grill like that. Control J. Like that. For their one. And then we will pull up a cylinder. We'll finish off the bumper. So a few things need to happen here. Either we need to put a full back on it. Or if we're going to leave it, oh boy, what did I do? Open like that. We need it to uh, be sitting in a certain spot. So let's just flip it sideways. I think it's this one. Wrong one. Shrink it right down. Some more. Move it up, still way too big. Shrink, shrink, shrink. I don't like that. What it's going to do is just hold our bumper away from our vehicle just a little bit. So if we were to get in an accident, it would fold up instead of the car folding up. Give us a little bit of gap before it starts hitting the vehicle. Just make it a little longer. Make sure the face isn't sticking through the other side, but that you're close enough that it looks attached. gone a little too far unless we make the bumper thicker and we can do that too maybe we'll do that click the bumper you can try hitting alt e 
Oh no, we have to be in edit mode. And we'll just hit L over the whole thing. Alt E. Extrude along normals. We just pushed it out a little bit. Should have made it a bit thicker, hopefully. It doesn't look like it's broken or anything or look funny. So hopefully that gives oops us that little bit of edge where we can stick this piece in but not have it coming out of the other side. I think that's good there. Oops. Make sure we're on the piece. We'll drag it along on one side. Ship D it. And we'll see what it is to move it the other way. That one. So we'll just hit this and get rid of the minus. And then we'll grab both of them. And we'll attach to the bumper. Control J. Oh, you know what? Let's undo that. Let's grab both of them. Just these. And let's shift D it. And let's send it to the back for the back bumper and save ourselves some work. Okay. It's a little smarter, a little faster. Control J. Okay, there we go. We'll change the colors of those after. Just get more and more detail done slowly. And if we're going to use this vehicle the way we want, we're going to have to do all this detail. Okay, for this back door, i probably see if we can Alt E and extrude along the normals. Just to give it a little bit of thickness. And it looks like our window is still colored the right way we want it to, so that's going to work out. For we can attach our tail lights and not have it sticking through one face or the other. And we're going to put them right on the door. And you're just going to make sure one face is in and it's not sticking through the other face. Perfect. And then we'll hit I, and then we'll hit E. And then if you want to adjust it at all, you can still make it more narrow if you want, or whatever you're trying to do. I'll make it maybe like that, I guess. And then we will shift D it. And move it to the other side. So it's a top one. We'll just add a minus up there. Go ahead and grab these and attach them to that door, like so. And we could do the back bumper now. And then we only have a few more steps. We got seats. We got a dashboard we need to attach. What we need to do with these is make sure that they actually look like they're attached. Might have to thicken our bumper like we did on the other side. Let's hit L over it. And then Alt E and extrude along normals. I'm just trying to go the tiniest bit. Something like that. And it's going to make it a hair bigger, but it's going to be fine. Take those just at faces in as much as we can without going through the other side. I think we're in there now. Can't exactly see. We're definitely in now. And there we go. If you want to make them longer to hold your bumper out farther, that's up to you. Control J. And then when we put that on, it'll just set that little bit of hair out from the vehicle like that. Giving it a little gap to make it a little more distinct and look a little nicer. Hopefully you're also thinking that and you're enjoying that look. All right. So we've got our lights. We just need to color all that stuff. Our bumpers need to be colored. I guess they only need to be two different colors. So we can grab our bumper and do that one real quick and just add a second color to it. I don't know why there's already a blue to it. We'll do new, and we'll make it a grayish color for steel, because it'll be the steel part. And we'll go into edit mode. 
try to highlight that, that, sign. Now again, you don't have to make your bumpers blue, you just leave them separated. You should be able to give them their own color scheme once they're in game. It's just giving it a slot, say I have two colors, I have three colors, etc. All right, maybe I'll just reuse that one, in fact. There we go, so those are colored now. The lights need to be colored in the grill. The reason is because there's a couple colors in this. So we will do first one, gray. Okay. We'll assign it in edit mode. I just hit tab to get edit mode, obviously. Click on the face, shift click on that face, plus, new, make it yellow. All right, that looks a lot better. And we'll just have to do the back door now into edit mode, of course. And then we're gonna hit plus, new, and we're gonna make a gray color. It doesn't matter, I'm just going for the look right now. I'll just hit L. L, hit assign, click off everything, we'll click on that face, shift click on this face, plus new, and again I'm just giving it a slot color, but we'll just make it ready orange for the look, okay? Now we got tail lights, we got headlights, headlights and that grill come off in one piece, um, doors come off, we need door handles. We need to make sure we're at edit mode, so hit tab and make sure that you're at edit mode. And then we'll shrink this handle down. And let's make a handle this shape. So, stretch it out this way and then we'll shrink it down. Still a little big, but we'll leave it that size where we can work on it a little bit. Stretch it out just a hair more. Okay, and then we're gonna shift D it, and we're gonna hit S. Sorry, having a little trouble seeing it. And we're gonna do this, and we're gonna do that. And the reason is, is we're gonna leave just the door handle shape on the outside. Bool tool difference okay then if we want come in grab just this top edge I think and these two maybe and control B all right I think that's pretty nice and then we got the hollow spot on the bottom side a real door handle I'm trying to get to to a good angle for it Just need to make sure we don't poke through the other side of the vehicle. Decide what looks good on your vehicle, what size of handle you're going to want. I like that, so I'm going to shift D it. And I should, as long as I didn't move my other door, be able to do this, pop it on the other side, and then we just need to do a 180. All right, and we'll grab this and we'll attach it to the door, control J. Grab this, attach it to the door, control J. And it looks like the doors are still attached to the vehicle right now. So we're gonna have to disattach them at some point if you want your doors to open and shut, but we'll get that. We're gonna have to also color the handles on the door. So um, maybe I'll give this a day or two if you guys want me to make new seats, if you want me to make a new dash, steering wheel, gas pedals let me know if not i may just recycle those ones to make it faster for myself i may make them new just because i feel like it we'll see what happens but let me know in the comments if you need something thank you for watching and we'll be back next time to finish up the gp type vehicle suv thanks for watching bye